Hello, my name is Gail Morton. I'm one of the research librarians at Mercer University. Um, we're going to go over different types of information. For this recording, we're going to look at um, clinical trials, we're going to look at some peer-reviewed, and we're going to look at systematic reviews. Three different types of information. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And here I am at databases, and to find two of those resources, we're going to go to a database called the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews. I'm scrolling down a little bit, and here it is. Okay, and here we are at this database. I'm clicking here, I'm going to type in diabetes and footwear. So Cochrane will give you a couple of different types of um, information. We'll have a review, and this one is only one. And this is just for treating the ulcers. That's not even really what we were looking for, but it is something. I'm just going to click on it and open it. So a review means it's not primary research. It's reviewing all of the information, of, or actually all the literature that's out there that deals with a certain topic. So it's secondary. It's a secondary source, not primary, but it's a good source because it tells you everything that's out there and then reviews it. Okay. All right, come back here and trials is trial. And a, a clinical trial is not secondary source. It's more of a primary source, but it's not done because they're just testing out a product on a human. Um, and they're seeing their health outcomes. So as you can see, we do have some trials with some footwear. Let's look at this. And you can see what's going on in the world of footwear for people who have a diabetic foot. That's all you're gonna get. The other one looked like a mini book. This one just tells you, you know, the issue, when it was added, and it's a controlled trial. So again, the clinical trials, while they are primary, they're not done yet. And the systematic reviews are reviews of research that's already out there, so they're not primary. We're going to look at peer-reviewed research next. In order to do that, it's not in the Cochrane database. I'm going to go back to Browse Databases. I'm going to my favorite database. It's Research Library at ProQuest. So I'm looking for research library. Here it is. That's where I'm going to find my peer-reviewed. And a peer-reviewed, they are primary research, and you usually see charts and graphs to go along with it. Let's see. And footwear. Okay. Let's click on peer review because that's what we want. Remember, scholarly journals are going to be different than peer reviewed journal. Peer reviewed is something, um, a study that was done that was reviewed by experts in the field. Diabetic foot disease. Okay. Preventing diabetic foot disease. Honestly, I was looking for footwear, and it's highlighting all my terms. You can see here's the charts and graphs. Let's see if it has footwear in it somewhere. Maybe towards the bottom. Nope. I think there were some other ones that did, though. Here you go. Custom-made footwear in patients with diabetes. So here you can have some peer-reviewed research. That's scholarly peer-reviewed because that's what we've clicked on. Okay. So that's the difference between three types of information. We have peer-reviewed, clinical trials, and systematic reviews.